April is Autism Awareness and Acceptance Month, and all this week we're taking a closer look at the developmental disorder. And tonight we introduce you to Carrie Magro. As Teresa Priello shows us, this best selling author, speaker, and role model is not letting autism define him. This question of what happens to children with autism when they become adults with autism is what's happening today. Jersey City native Carrie Magro has a lot to say, and he is wasting no time letting his thoughts be heard, something that seemed impossible when Carrie was just a toddler. <laughs> This cherubic baby full of innocence and adventure was enjoying life like any other child his age, except he couldn't verbalize it. Carrie was nonverbal until the age of two and a half. Some of my earliest memories were like, Mom and Dad, I really wish I could talk for, for you because I know you're pushing me so hard to try to speak, and I really wish I could do that for you. I wish I could have this conversation with you. I wish I didn't have to point when I had to go to the bathroom or point to when I was hungry. Um, so I think those were my earliest memories as early as four. Today, Carrie is CEO and founder of KFM Making a Difference, a nonprofit corporation focused on disability advocacy and housing. Once Carrie began talking, well, he didn't stop. He is currently traveling the world sharing his story. My parents decided to get me focused on rigorous occupational, physical, and speech therapy which I did for almost 15 years after I was diagnosed. In May of 2019, Kerry received his doctorate in educational technology leadership from New Jersey City University to become Dr. Kerry Magro. Today, he's showing the world autism is not his disability, but rather it's given him an ability to connect with people far and wide. I know there's so many people, even to this day, who have unconscious biases around autism and disability and sometimes don't think of these individuals as enough. And what I can tell them is that scared little boy who didn't know what the future had in store for them is my typical thing I like to say is that autism hasn't defined my life. I've defined autism. And I can only hope that every single individual who may be watching this can define their lives and their journeys regardless if they have autism every single day for the rest of their lives. It wasn't always easy. But now I can say today that I'm here. And one more thing, for a guy who has accomplished many of his professional goals before the age of 35, Kerry has just one more big box to check off the list. Oh, um, I'm a hopeless romantic. I want to fall in love. I want to uh, raise a family. Wow, what an inspiration. Well, tune in next Monday when I host a Fox 5 special, Autism Life on the Spectrum. That's April 10th at 5.30 p.m. and 10.30 p.m. right here on Fox 5.